parks down from my horse pile upstairs. A brake booster, a brake booster, and a brake uh, brake pedal assembly, and accelerator pedal. And, and today we're gonna today we're gonna uh, get some of the steering and brake pedal assembly mocked up. These aren't the parts I'm going to use. These are just uh, mock-up ones. So, now we can start here. Uh, i put the, probably put the brake assembly in first and see how, uh, where we want the steering column. See where we want the steering column. I don't know if I said in the last video, but I'm going to use the 2003 steering column, not the 60s, I decided on that, 60s one, I'm just, I would have to modify, I would have to put this shifter, there's electronics in here, so I'd have to figure out how to Put this uh, put this uh, shifter panel over. I was originally thinking about maybe using just having this key fob underneath the dash, and then you can get aftermarket push button start systems for you can hook it hook it up to about any vehicle. Thought about doing that, and then I could use original. 60, 1962 steering column and then just have a push button I wouldn't have to mount the key but I'll still have to deal with the cruise control the cruise control but well, if you just stay balanced the cruise control just have to deal with that get that mounted on the side and this shifter handle, shifter arm. Yeah, I I don't know. I'm I'm thinking I'll just use the 2003. Be nice to have a 62 steering column, but the one I want to get is a tilt one, and I'm not about to spend that much money, so. Not for, not, not this time. Something like that, like that down there, the shaft there, we could have that a little bit offset to that side. Like it wouldn't really matter, it could have it, you know, could have it like a little bit to the one side because that has to be notched out around there. So this fits up tighter up in there. Cut the flange, the plastic flange that stuck out the end of the uh, steering column. Stuck out the end of the steel there. I don't really s didn't see where you need it or where there's any need for it. So I need the room to clear this brake pedal. Um, I got a wire. Holding this column up, we need a bracket there, 
and down there. We got those brackets made right there. Some bolts welded through the down the top side, so I can just when I put the steering column on, I just put a nut on the bottom. Right down there is relocated. Took the steering column out because next thing that we want to do is get some switches mounted up here. This one anyways. So what I'm thinking is we'll have this somewhere in here and then this one here I'm just going to leave and I'll put my uh, five position EFI live tuner in here. I'm gonna focus focus on this side once. Well, I have to improve on my videos here, definitely. I have my time lapse going and I didn't have it quite positioned right. So I'll just explain what I was doing here so far. Um, this right here, this is just a mock-up switch, so I don't care if it gets melted, it's kind of hot. So that's what we're building. Basically a casing. So I gotta trim, clean out these little corners so the piece goes in there better, the switch goes in there better, but it fits in there. Anyways. All squared up. There's some there's some uh, little nibs that I have to cut off, grind off yet from the welds. So it's in there, but here is what we're thinking here. Actually, 
I'm going to use a knife and score, score a line instead of marking it. That way I can get it as close as possible to the switch sound. So my next thinking was, you know how this goes, like this, and this is the curve of the bottom, so I'm going to take this exact piece and put it back on here. Um, like put it on here, so it has that same curve on the bottom. So my battery is too low to take a full time lapse, but thought I'd show you it before it's in. Pretty cleaned up, still needs some burrs cleaned up around the inside, but this is how it looks without welding in. I was originally thinking about having it protrude out a bit, you know. Hmm. I don't know, that's hard hard to decide. I'm thinking flush might look better. I think I might have it protrude about the same amount as that right there does those little switch holes there. <coughs> that looks good right there. Get that welded up and I'll be back after my phone charges. Only took me about an hour to do to put this all together. Uh, what took me the most time is grinding all this out. This weld in the corner, but I got most of it out. Once it gets some primer on it, you can tell more where the high and low spots are. But then I decided to just. Uh, where's 
two piece. Right. This piece here. I kind of like the factory. If I can maybe stay here. Well, the the factory lines here. I kind of like those. Um, but those will be pretty hard to recreate. I mean, it'd be possible, but I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. I cut the whole piece out because these. Yeah, I could have used this one, but for the EFI. But <clears throat> these three, I don't have any neat, neat use for. <clears throat> so I decided I'm just gonna cut the whole thing out and replace it with some with some smooth metal. And then if I end up putting switches in. I can just put them right where I want them. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld that in. And then I'm gonna have to recut the the hump where the hump needs to be. That way it'll be a bit more finished. Look this this will be like straight up and straight across you know curve straight across and down. Uh, I'm going to get that all welded up and ground off and then I put the steering column back in here and show you guys how, how everything looks. Well, about the switches here, I can, if I have smooth metal there, I can, once I decide where I need switches, I can put it, you know, I can put them wherever, wherever I want them. Yeah, I'm going to get that welded up and put the steering column back in and come back and show you guys how it looks. Put the steering column all in, plenty of clearance. Still gotta put the boot on against the firewall. Steering columns in. Tilt and everything works. Still might do some trimming to get that to clear and still be close. But it's pretty much where it needs to be. <clears throat> and this light switch. around got all that up all done still needs a little bit of body fill here and there but turned out pretty good well, that's it for this one uh, thanks you thanks again for following along like usual and also, I changed all the labels on the videos, or the titles, because I decided now what year I'm going to go with, for sure. It's going to be a 1962, and its name is going to be Kermit. Kermit with a K. That, if you're familiar with the Muppets, or the Muppet Show, that should give you an idea of what color it's going to be it being called Kermit. But yes, thanks for following along. And until the next one, keep working on that project, whatever you guys got going on. But until the next one, have a good one.